You've reached the Deftones hotline. The Deftones have a record coming out October 28th called Around the Fur. Leave us a message after the beep. Late. What's up? I know your last album kicked fucking ass, and from what I've heard, the next album is going to be even better. I don't know. Some of my friends have heard this stuff on the radio, but due to the lack of radio in my shitty-ass college town, I haven't heard anything, but I'm definitely looking forward to it, and I want to know when you guys are coming to Chicago. I met this guy over the internet and he said that the album was really good and everything. And I got a single and it's really good. <laughs> Alright, bye. Alright, check it out, dude. I don't know if anybody fucking listens to these messages, but I'm trying to find out about. What do you want to know about the Deftones? I'll tell you everything you want to know. Deftones. We've been together about nine years. We're from uh, Sacramento, California. We just finished our second album, Terry Date, called Around the Fur, which will be out October 20th. Right. I'd probably say that uh, we're probably one of the most, you know, heavy yet melodic bands. I mean, I know that that we, you know, most of most of our music is really aggro, but there's a lot of um, a lot of emotion, a lot of like you know melody in it. If you you know if you listen to it, um, as far as just being straightforward all the time, it, there's a lot of dynamics and it goes through a lot of uh, you know a lot of different emotions, a lot of different you know feels. And I think that I really think that's one of our best traits that you know we've always had as a band. And this record, I think it shows a lot more than any other thing we've ever done. I feel so grown you know with, uh, with this new album I think the songs are a lot more mature you know they're more passionate a little deeper first single on our new record is uh, my own summer which is basically a song of about Armageddon somewhat, uh, somewhat of just about, you know, being in front of the sun, being in front of people, um, you know, basically the, the sun being my enemy. Doing a video for uh, My Own Summer, basically it's, it can be like a real intense nightmare type of situation. Um, being cars directing it, you know, it should be pretty crazy. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of waterworks. Stage chemistry of our band is just—it's just us, you know. It's just whatever the day may have been, what we've gone through through the day, we just come out and let it out. You know what I mean? It's real. We tend to come together when we're playing live. You know, we're completely different people, four different people that you know a lot of times don't have anything in common until we get on stage. No matter what mood I'm in, before I go on stage, I can, I can be pissed off or, or be excited or or, you know, not even want to play some nights, but, you know, the second I get on stage, there's nothing much that I can do except just, you know, go off. Yeah, we did um, a lot of in-stores last tour, you know, just, it's crazy, we, you know, just destroying record shops, being in, you know, like 500 kids coming into these little small shops and play, and um, just be, just be, 
they say the Tower Long Beach in store is really cool because it was an outdoor place. They got to the heck of it outside, I guess. You know, just a ton of kids there, and it was crazy. And it's cool because, you know, all the other in stores that we did, the kids ended up going to the ceiling and big piles of CDs all, you know, ruined and stuff. So they got smart and put us outside. But it was really cool that that many kids showed up. Some of the shows just got really crazy. The kids are you know, breaking, you know, crowd surfing and punching holes in the roofs and, and stuff. And basically, we just wanted free CDs. So we try to be as nice to them as we could possibly be. So Recently, we did, we did a show uh, uh, for our fans on the internet. Um, like 300 kids got to uh, got to uh, do a, you know do a contest thing and got to check us out. We don't need cameras on this song. Some shit's gonna go down that the internet people don't need to see. If you haven't seen us live, you need to come check it out.